The building industry is the largest energy consumer in Europe. It's responsible for over 40% of energy consumption, 36% of CO2 emissions and 33% of water use. This poses a big climate challenge for cities because they manage a large share of public and commercial buildings. So, to become carbon neutral by 2050, municipalities need to step up their efforts to decarbonize the building sector. The upcoming revision of the EU's Energy Performance of Buildings Directive is the perfect chance to make much needed changes and set stricter energy rules. Changes to the regulation would ensure that old and new buildings become more and more energy efficient, that they produce less carbon emissions during their life cycle, and that energy efficient constructions will be affordable to everyone, including low income households. The revised directive should define a roadmap to renovate at least 3% of buildings owned by cities. This would call for the introduction of a European framework for minimum energy performance standards for buildings that is currently set only at national level. Another key milestone would be to create building renovation passports to guide renovation decisions and bring them in line with renovation standards across the EU. The revised directive should also set a clear step-by-step -step approach to better standards by 2050 to ensure that public and private entities can plan investments and set realistic goals. Changes to the directive should also make energy poverty a priority to help vulnerable groups overcome economic barriers. Working with tenants is key to ensuring that low-income residents can renovate their housing. For example, public money should support vulnerable households that cannot afford loans at market prices. Meanwhile, public entities should establish locally operated one-stop shops to provide free and trusted advice to residents. Last but not least, EU member states should involve local and regional governments in their national building renovation plans, because without local level support, those plans might as well remain ink on paper. The time is now to build ourselves a better, more sustainable future in climate neutral cities.